seated for a moment. I'm glad to say that we have uh, a special ceremony in a couple of minutes when two of our probationers are installed as full-scale choristers of the Temple Church. Before that, may I just say, on Wednesday this week, Choral Evensong, at its normal time of six o'clock, will be in celebration of the 450th anniversary of the completion of Middle Temple Hall. Mr. Reader, rather germane to your own theme this morning, the only begetter of Middle Temple Hall uh, was Edmund Plowden, whose monument stands over on the right, who was the most famously Roman Catholic lawyer in England all through the 1570s and 80s. And his story, together with Travers and Hooker, remains one of the extraordinary testimonies to the nature of collegiate life here in the temple. And next Sunday is Remembrance Sunday. Choral matins will start at 10.55, and at 11 o'clock we will hear Last Post, Observe the Silence, and hear Revalli. So if, as we hope you can join us, please do be here in good time so that we are all assembled before 11 o'clock. Thank you. And now, uh, you'll see that we have two boys who are about to receive their surpluses. I'm very pleased to say that, contrary to all canon law, at least one parent, and I hope more, are taking photographs. Quite right, too. Yes, please do. This is a very happy moment. And I, 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 thank you. That's better. And the fuller the record that you have of this happy moment, the better. All of us know how much we owe to the choristers in our music making and our worship here in church. And it is a delight when boys who have been singing probably for about a year are ready to become fully-fledged members of the choir and to receive their surplus. And then, as we fervently hope, will continue to sing ever better and ever more strongly for the next four, five years to come. So, boys, well done you. It's a delight to see you this morning standing in front of us. Mr. Anne-Marie. Master, I present to you Alexander Tool and Thomas Ashley Van to be installed as full choristers in the Temple Church choir. Alex and Thomas, I do hear in the presence of God and of this congregation, install you as full choristers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Sing, rejoice, and be glad. Praise the Lord with a merry voice and delight him with true melody in your heart. And the head chorister and deputy head chorister are now going to insuplice each of the new choristers. At least I think they are. Mr. Allery, we might need your help. <laughs> May God, Alex and Thomas, may God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve and guide you and grant that as you sing his praises in your youth, you may serve him faithfully throughout your lives. Amen. I was going to ask you to turn around. Well done. Heavenly Father, we give thee thanks for the beauty of this place and of the singing that fills it with praise. Raise our hearts, our minds, and our voices to the worship of thee, God, three in one, that we may hear in our music on earth an echo of the songs of heaven. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex and Thomas. And so may the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you and upon all those whom you love this day and forevermore. 
Amen.